What's going on, everybody? It's your boy QuestX. I am back after a week hiatus. Uh, had holidays, had business, and uh, you know, New Year 2017. I want to wish everybody a happy New Year. But let's get right to it. Let's talk about MMA. Uh, this will be the last video I do, um, <laughs> unless some devastating news comes out about MMA um, and when it pertains to boxing comes up i i'm pretty much i'm not an mma fan um i watch the main events put it that way so i'm not even going to pretend to sit here and say i know the end all and be all about mma but what i will say here and say is this is that when mma decides to start disrespecting the sport that i love which is boxing i take it personally and R ronda rousey is uh the epitome of that conor mcgregor is about to take her place but you know, we'll get to that at a later date in video um, because you guys are, already know my feelings when it comes to Conor McGregor and his whole shit show. But let's direct this to Ronda and Dana White. And let me tell you something. Uh, what happened to Ronda Rousey this past weekend was nothing more than karma coming back to bite both Dana White in the ass Ronda Rousey in the ass, and the UFC fan base in the ass. Um, now, I'm not talking about the UFC fans who were fans of mixed martial arts, like the Gracies. Because, uh, see, I do know a bit about it. Uh, I was a fan. I mean, remember, I grew up in the 80s um, when MMA and mixed martial arts was first coming onto the scenes of being something that was prominent. And it just got commercialized, and now it's a bunch of hillbilly hicks who are completely racist. And I'll keep it real. You guys know I don't shy away from it. Um, there's no way you can explain the disrespect of John Jones and Anderson Silva and then sit here and say that the UFC and the UFC fan base is not made up of a bunch of majority of them are racist hicks who want to see a certain style and certain type of fighter be the face of their organization. Uh, it's why, you know, Tyron Woodley was basically robbed versus Nature Boy. The, uh, wasn't the Nature Boy? It was Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy Thompson, I believe his name was. Um, but again, I can dissect MMA all day and people are going to sit here and say that I'm just being a hater. And I can give you examples. But this is about Ronda Rousey and Dana White. You know what, Dana White? You owe Amanda Nunes one hell of an apology, but you're probably not going to give it to her and the fans won't demand it because they think like you. Um, Amanda Nunes was completely robbed uh, on the financial end in this fight. 200 grand? Get the fuck out of here. You're the champ. You just beat the dog shit out of somebody who didn't even need to be or deserve to be in the ring with you, who probably never deserved to be in the ring with fighters who actually knew how to fight. Uh, Ronda Rousey is, some, is a, a fighter who is a classic example of being excellently uh, paired up with opponents who have deficiencies in areas in which she um, excels in. Uh, much like Conor McGregor. And, and again, like I said, the Conor McGregor video will be coming out soon because I'm going to eat the shit out of him and the UFC as well. But, uh, you know, Dana White got egg on his face right now. Um, I've been of the mindset that I've even said that I believe something else is going on between him and Ronda Rousey. It has to be. There's no way you can sit here and slice it or dice it. The privileges that this woman has been given have been nothing short than what you would give your woman if you were the boss at the job. And, and it, it is. It, it, there's just no way. No way. No press, no media, $3 million plus pay-per-view back-end money. Um, she's allowed to do whatever the hell she wants to do. Mind you, keep in mind, this is Dana White. He said he didn't even think that women should be in the UFC. And yet, Ronda Rousey, since day one, has gotten red carpet treatment. I believe... Sums up either he got either Ronda Rousey got nudie pictures of Dana White in, in a skirt or some leggings and heels like Oscar De La Hoya's bitch ass or these two are fucking well it's one of the two okay because there's just no way you can you can you can explain this shit to me all right um and as far as Ronda Rousey I don't give a fuck. I know I've seen a lot of brothers in the LDBC doing videos about her moms, and, and I respect these brothers. Um, I get it. I'm not a parent yet, so I don't understand. But let me tell you something. I'm also of the mindset that your child is a reflection of you. So if it, I can't feel sorry for a mother who raises a child who comes out 
and is a other asshole to her opponents, other asshole to her fan base, other asshole to anybody who uh, demands or expects more of her. See, I come from the, the I'm cut from the old school cloth that as a fan of combat sports, I expect you know, the, 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 the fighters that I root for to dig deep, to be a, an exception to the rule to, but also exhibit a sense of discipline and, uh, mental fortitude that I aspire to be. No, nah. I don't give two shits about Ronda Rousey's mama crying and shit like that. You know what? You made a monster. You got to live with a monster. And I don't give a fuck. And I don't. And, and you know what? People want to talk about that. It's her trainer. And it's it's this and that. And the outside. No, 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 no. See, first of all, let's take a real deep look at Ronda Rousey. Okay. As a person. She, first of all, she, uh, again, there was alleged that she was with a guy who was accused of domestic violence. Yet she wanted to try to claim that she was a spokesman or the spokeswoman. Let me, let me clarify this. For... Uh, to defend women against men who want to beat them. Then it came out that the bitch, in fact, was herself an abuser to her boyfriend. I mean, come on, guys. Like, I'm not going to do this whole, I'm going to beg and, 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 and what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not going to sit back and give this woman excuses for being the way that she is. You guys want the roll, the, the hard truth? I'm going to give it to you. The hard truth of the matter is, is that everything that has happened to Ronda Rousey happens to everybody who eventually gets their comeuppance. Okay? Conor McGregor is coming and a whole bunch of other people. And when it comes, pertains to the sport of boxing, a whole bunch of other people are about to get it. Okay? You cannot do dirt in your life and expect to always stay clean. That is a fact. So... When it comes to this whole situation, I don't feel bad one bit. Thumb down the video, hate, do whatever you want, but you cannot ignore the facts that the, this woman and Dana White and this whole big engine that is the UFC that has been pushing this agenda, which is so blatant and is so obvious, it, it needs to go. So in short, Ronda Rousey, this is my message to you. Stay the fuck away. I don't ever need to see you again. I don't care about you having mental issues. You, you, you have a mental breakdown. Because, again, I don't believe half the shit that these people talk about, first off. Okay? I don't. People put out stories. She went on this whole media circuit talking about how she felt bad and all this jet. Get the fuck out of here, girl. I don't give a fuck about your mental status, okay? Conor McGregor did the same shit after he lost Nate Diaz. This is all orchestrated by Dana White and the UFC heads. And if you guys want to buy into it, you can buy into it. For me, I don't. And as far as her mama going on these media interviews, talking all this shit, you guys can sit here and consistently go be Captain Save-A-Hole and want to feel bad for her. But I don't. It's your boy Quest X. I am out. Peace.